Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Florida doing a hoard today. We had a client call in and said that she had lent her apartment uh, unit out to some family and friends for about two months. And so when she comes back, the entire apartment was pretty much destroyed. I'm counting that. February 16th. Ooh, that Not nearly as bad as it could be. I found two things of battery right in with the shredded cheese. Tons of roaches inside, you know, there's all kind of feces from uh, the cats and urine, uh, so the ammonia is a little bit strong in there. All types of trash and debris in there, so it's pretty, you know, it's not sanitary for, you know, anybody to live in right now. Plus she has a young daughter that's probably two or three, so, you know, she's pretty pissed off about it, pretty upset, so we're just here to help and clean that out. Uh, do a, definitely a deep clean to the, the place, do a little bomb as well to get rid of all the bugs and uh, she should be good to go. Just keep your faith high, try to remain, you know, stress-free uh, and extremely blessed. So, you know, stay fortunate, you know, pray for the people. Hopefully it gets better for her, but you know, this is just one stepping stone in the right direction to get her where she wants to be. And cool. Hopefully, you know, she doesn't lend, lend it out to anyone else uh, like that. It's just gonna destroy and not, you know, appreciate the opportunity they gave them just living in their unit. And so far, how is the job going? It's going well, it's going pretty quick. So I have myself and Griffin inside. We're just pretty much cleaning out. It's not a super huge unit, but it is very dirty. And it is full of tons of uh, uh, roaches and feces. Plus she has carpet, so a lot of the cats have urinated and did a number two on the carpet and inside the kitchen. So the uh, refrigerator's a little damaging as well. You know, wish Fiona was here to do fridge time with Fiona, but she would love this fridge. It's uh, pretty disgusting. But it's, it's not that bad. It's probably a three or four on my scale. Out of 10? Yeah. So to compare it to other hordes, what's this hoard uh, on the scale of fats? Where's this one? This is on level one. It's like, maybe it's two. It's really not that bad. I'm counting that. It's Good? I'm feeling disgusted. <laughs> what was that? It was a rat. It was a buggy. This is a half-eaten cucumber. And it was sitting on the table in that room. Well, you gotta eat. And then when you're full, you're full, right? Let's but see. why? Like, what would possess someone? Many things. I like cucumbers too, but like, why would you just like eat this much of one and then put it on the table and just walk away? Save it for later? You don't save your cucumbers for later? In the fridge. So I leave mine around. I leave mine on the nightstand. Oh, okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's a cucumber. This is a pickle. With vinegar. I know. It's a cucumber with vinegar. It's... It's pickled. It's a pickled cucumber. Anyway, so I'm actually seeing a lot of pickles, so these people really like the pickles. Pickles are cute. Do you like pickles? I fucking love pickles. So the story is um, a woman went out of town for like three months, three and a half months, with her daughter, and um, she had a couple friends or something like that stay here while she was gone, watch the house, and uh, they trashed it. They 
completely like I don't know what they did in those three months I guess they had kids as well but like whatever they did they completely trashed the place like we're finding weirdly enough like out al our pickles alcohol and stuff like that all over the house lots of bottles of like milk McDonald's cups and stuff all over the house sitting in the kitchen stuff that has just been sitting out I want to know what their house at home looks like. I mean, you know, it's one thing if you're like hoarding at your own house, but like having someone going over to someone else's house and like watching, like to, with the full intent on watching their stuff and like doing this. It's bad, dude, look at that. The labor, frozen fun. It's thick too. This is another jar of pickles, by the way. We're finding a lot of pickles in this house. I just found like half eaten cucumber somewhere. Six jars of pickles laying around the house. Yo! It's broken at the end, so I can't use it, but... Lots of throwback toys in here. Do that again. Wait, wait, wait. I'm loving this. <laughs> what do you have in your hand? A knife! No! <laughs> I, did, I was just thinking about that. Every time I pick up a knife, I'm like, oh, yeah. Look at this. water is disgusting to me. breaking things. There's What's it smell like over here? Uh, okay, so it smells like kind of like salt water. Um, it usually happens when stuff is sitting in a drain for a while. So like it smells like a dirty drain and uh, old dishes. So like, I don't know, you leave dishes sitting for a while. Uh, usually they kind of get this very specific smell. This is like when you undergo one of those like punishments. Oh shit, that's a cat. Is that front door shut? Hi. It won't work. That's why I hate these. <laughs> okay, we can just swing it around in a circle. Let's pretend like it's working. It requires hand-eye coordination, which I don't have. <laughs> so you know what? We're gonna throw it in the garbage. So, so far we've seen one cat out of the two, but I think that's the woman's other cats or she bought that somewhere, I don't know. But, no, I don't know. I think one of, at least one is named Z because the kid was looking for it. And I was trying to figure out what the kid was saying, and then it clicked, and I was like, oh, she's looking for the cat. Ziggy. So, so far we have to get this corner. But so far we gotta get that corner of the bathroom, and then we could actually start deep cleaning. And uh, after that, we should be like good, like with hoard wise. Then we gotta start vacuuming and cleaning surfaces. So what are you guys doing right now? Taking out the stuff from under the mattress. Ah, it's water, please. What was the coolest thing you found in this unit so far? The coolest or grossest? Because like the grossest would be that milk or anything in the sink. The coolest, I don't know. It's just, you know, your average house so far. A lot of kids' toys, a lot of women's toys. A loin. It looks like it's got a little rattlesnake tail on it. But like, it's got like a spoon head. Hmm. I saw it on the floor and I was like, what the heck? Interesting. Are you guys going to throw away all these clothes or keep all these clothes? I think we're just going to. Like not leave it, leave it, but like, you know. Organize it. Oh, we'll kill those other things. You don't want them to, everything hung up, we leave it. Sorry. Oh, watch it wet, watch it wet! Sorry, catfish. Moist. Did you get Did you get in here? Oh. It's like wow. absolutely not. Wow. That's super chill. What's it like working in this space? Not pleasant. I mean, it's dark and it's cramped and you can't really see what you're doing. It's not the worst, but it's not pleasant. You got a plug in there. Look at that. Mm -hmm.
You guys got to start the deep clean? Yeah. Alright, that is, can you explain how the job has been up until this point and what you and Griffin are about to, to do? Well, I mean, the job's going good at this point. Uh, we're cleaning uh, all the trash up and picking it up, putting it in bags. Everything is pretty much on the ground that the client wanted. She wanted it to be removed, no matter if it was tables, shoes, any type of clothing for a child or anything like that. Things that she just was on the floor, she wanted it all thrown away. So we're about to take a break, uh, eat a little bit of lunch. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do a deep clean, clean all the walls, clean all the countertops, uh, we'll do a thorough vacuum and extraction of the floors. And we should be good to go after that. Makes me happy about buttons, but like something makes me happy though. Because they put things together. They hold stuff. They bring things together. They hold stuff together. And hold them there. And hold them there. Yep. made it look nice. Like I said, it's not nearly as bad. Oh yeah, it could be worse. Hold on, the whole last thing of battery in there. There's more batteries in here. Someone is storing batteries in the fridge. I found two things of batteries in there. Right in with the shredded cheese. I'm gonna leave them, I don't even care. <laughs> Got all the food out? Yeah. All right, Thaddeus, how did today go? Today went really well. Uh, we did a, a deep clean with a horror clean out. It was a little apartment, uh, a little time consuming, but we got it, the job done. She still wants to bomb for roaches and things of that nature, but the majority of the trash and the, the insects and feces on the ground, we definitely got removed and put away for it. Awesome. Anything else you want to add about the day? No, just glad it's over. Glad we got to get this done and get it over with and done with. And she's very, very happy and ecstatic to get back to her house. So just glad we can help out. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. For more information, visit any of our locations.